I'll make it all come true. Hello guys, I am Shubham and today I am going to show you how to download and install Kali Linux on a virtual box. So let's begin without any delay. Open your browser and type there download virtual box and then click on the first link here and here we go this is a virtual box download page and choose whatever operating system you are using i am using mac so i will go with this os x host if you are using windows go with this one down click here just click here it will start the download automatically I will cancel it just because I already have it and second we need is a Kali Linux image so again go to Google and search their download uh, Kali Linux and click on the first link this is a Kali Linux download page scroll down scroll down this one Kali Linux 64 bit virtual box click here offensive VM download page click here scroll down and this one Kali Linux virtual box image click here and there's two links 64 bit and 32 bit whatever operating system you are having click uh, the um, bit you want like uh, if you have 64 bit operating system if you have 32 bit operating system go with this one so i recommend 64 bit if you are having 64 bit operating system so just click here that will start the download you can see here i will again cancel it just because i already have it open the virtual box and what we need to do now is to go on file uh, import appliances and here on file folder Click on this folder icon and go to the place where you have downloaded your Kali Linux image and open it and continue. And these are some details. If you want to have a look, you can look. Else, import. Here you need to agree with the policy. Click agree and uh, it will take a bit. To uh, import all the appliances you have downloaded till then I can show you some good stuff like I will check out our blog like Google right now spyware.blog this is our website if you're interested in ethical hacking you can have tons of tips and tricks here like uh, virus creation how to hack what is what and many things like Android tricks uh, iPhone tricks Linux uh, networking uh, notepad tricks that is a uh, part of a virus creation and many else thing there is a tons of tutorials here tons of and if you haven't downloaded our app a spy boy yet you can download it from play store go to play store and search for a spy boy and you can download it from there so here is our Kali Linux image as you can see our Kali Linux image has been successfully imported on our virtual box so what we need to do now is click on the Kali Linux and go on settings and do some changes like uh, remove the extra stuff like it should be only Kali Linux go to advance and share clipboard it should be bi-directional and drag and drop bi-directional it's very beneficial if you want to copy something from your current windows to linux that is quite handy like drag and drop and uh, copy from clipboard and in description we have the username and the password for your operating system it don't work most of the time i will let you know the default password and username for your operating system but uh, if it works then that's fine else we will i will provide you the default one and then Let's go to system and do some changes like uh, RAM. I recommend user minimum is 4 GB a RAM and the processor. I will go give it used to uh, process and uh, else everything is fine. I will just click uh, OK and we are good to go. Click on the Kali Linux and let's start. 
so our Linux is booting. Four, three, two, one, and go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's booting. It's quite cool, no? Kali Linux can't be your primary PC, so you should always run in this on a virtual box or a in a secondary PC. So here we go. It's our um, blocker screen. So the default password that was uh, given here uh, root and toot, but it won't work like I am showing you root and the store login. See, it's so incorrect password. This happened. What is the default password? Is Kali. Type Kali on username and the password. Also Kali. And click on login. And then, then, then. There's our Kali Linux. And it's quite amazing. Like, see, uh, in my left hand side, I'm running Mac and here I'm running Kali Linux. I can also run the third operating system that is Windows 10. It's quite handy, no? So as you can see right now, like the icons and the uh, uh, fonts are very small. So what you need to do is click on uh, Kali Linux logo and click here on settings and go to appearance and settings and scroll down and window scaling and select two x and just we are done go to all settings and you can see everything is now in a uh, big size just to make it clear and uh, visual we need to restart the system so everything uh, go to default so we don't, don't need to do it on the Kali Linux and uh, power off and again we had we need to go on Kali Linux and start it's booting three two one and go I love this logo, man. It's so powerful operating system. I recommend everyone to learn Carly Linux if you want to have a career in computer science. So again, type your Kali and password Kali. Login. And now you can see as everything is bigger and the most important thing in Kali Linux is terminal. Let's open it. And here we are. Here we are. Our terminal. In terminal to increase the font size where you need to go on a preference. And click here change fonts and uh, size uh, whatever you want like click 18 and OK. And apply. And okay, so now you can see speaker. Let's run some command like who am I? So it's saying it's Kali net user. See, it's so cool. No, let's some hacker look <laughs> like nerdy look. I am quite so. I will go and give uh, green on dark. That's hacker default color and it's amazing. Right now. So what you need to do now is to update the Kali Linux. So updating you, it uh, has some command. Uh, so what you need to do is go on your browser. And again, open up a blog. And I have uh, recently posted about what you need to do after installing Kali Linux. 
so where it is where it is here get okay. with the kali linux 2020 and this one is a top 10 things you to you need to do after installing kali linux so click here and this one like uh, installing git uh, configuring bash and many more uh, libraries and many more uh, tools hacking tools whatever you want you have the more playing operating system if you know how to play with it so uh, first you need to do is to update the kali linux it's very important uh, so let's update our kali linux uh, open your terminal and type there apt dash get update and hit enter it will collect all the file which need to be updated and it will let you know and then again the second command apt dash git upgrade and hit enter it will install all the uh, upgrading file and it's done and you are now good to go do whatever you want with your kali linux as i was saying earlier what you need to do after installing kali linux so here i made a tutorial top 10 and top 10 things you need to do after installing kali linux like uh, installing this stuff installing this great stuff like most important like tools like uh, air crack ng and bob suit hydra nikto yeah as you guys know air crack is for hacking wi-fi hydra for the penetration testing and security nikto for uh, finding uh, the security and low holes in the website and etc and many more things like many cool stuff so this is it for now we will meet in our next video tutorial and you guys let me know in comment section if you want me to do a also video tutorial and how to install windows 10 on a uh, uh, virtual box like it's also pretty amazing like i can show you like uh, first let me uh, close this one uh, so done and let me show you how windows 10 look on a virtual box like i am running mac and i can run whatever operating system i i can uh, i i want or uh, you guys want like see it's putting windows 10 uh so let me know guys in a comment section if you want me to tell you how to install windows 10 on a virtual box it's also pretty amazing and also let me know if you want me to cover any specific tutorial on a uh, youtube so i will try my best to do that and let me know so let's go my password is okay it should uh, uh, change the screen size and here, oh, here we go and here it is see this is mac and this is windows see how cool is this i can run windows on my mac i can run kali linux on mac so let me know guys if you want me to uh, do it or not so i will see you in my next tutorial till then bye bye take care <laughs>